What's going on YouTube? Gia right here. So in today's video, I'm coming with good news, bad news, and also a recap for those of you interested in iOS 11.4, 11.4.1, and 12 jailbreak. This video is brought to you by PDF Element, a Wondershare product that allows you to edit, convert, and combine, and of course, easily annotate PDFs on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below. So I'm going to start with the bad news first, because these are very, very important. iOS 12.0.1 has stopped being signed just a few hours ago. So if you didn't save your blobs for iOS 12.0.1, as I said in many of my videos to do, then it's unfortunately impossible to do that anymore. Now you're going to ask me why is iOS 12.0.1 that important? Well, if you updated from iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1, at first that was a very bad move on your end, and then iOS 12.0 or 12.0.1 would have been the best solution for you. However, iOS 12.1 is the only version currently signed and the one for which we have the least available vulnerabilities. So iOS 12.1, may not be the best option for jailbreaking right now. iOS 12.0.1 and 12.0 share pretty much the same security content, so iOS 12.0.1 was pretty much like 12.0 iOS 12.1, on the other hand, is pretty much patching more bugs than iOS 12.0, and therefore it's less likely to receive a jailbreak anytime soon. So if you're already running iOS 12.0 or 12.0.1, do not update to 12.1. If you're running 11.4 or 11.4.1, do not update to 12.1 at all, because iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1 are more likely to get a jailbreak in the near future than the iOS 12. However, we also have good news for those of you already running a jailbreak on iOS 11.3.1 and lower. Chris Pound has posted, quote, I am releasing recovering a uncover removal tool for iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 11.4 beta 3. Recovering does not remove the tweaks that will come in the future. Your app will crash after running recovering. That is completely fine. Just reboot and it will be fine. So what is this? This is pretty much a script that would allow you to uninstall safely the uncovered jailbreak on iOS 11.4 beta 3 and lower in case you have issues or you want to switch back to the Electra or for whatever reason. So this is a very good script. It's a little bit dirty though if you take a look on the um, .sh file, but it works. It does a trick. I tested it and it seems to be doing it quite fine. I will link the script with the tweet in the description down below. But let's go back to iOS 12 and iOS 11.4.x. So this is the recap part. For those of you who do not know, the Zero Day Initiative here, which are pretty much the uh, people behind the Pound to Own competition, posted the winners of the um, competition of this year, and of course, some of them are iOS related. Now, after some research, I realized that their competition always uses the latest version of the software available for the platforms they're trying to pawn, which means that in this case, they were using an iPhone 10, but running the iOS 12.1. Quote, the final entry of the day for the contest saw a team from MWR Labs, which targets Apple Safari with a sandbox escape they utilized a hip buffer overflow in the browser and an initialized stack variable in a macOS to escape the sandbox and gain code execution. In doing so, they earned quite a large amount of money and five master of pawn points. So what this means is that they're going to release an exploit that is capable to do a sandbox escape. Now, this may not be very useful directly for jailbreaking, however, it's an important jailbreak component, which if exploited right, may be able to power a Houdini-like application to have some light modifications to the device because you have the sandbox escape, which is something very important. So for those of you who do not know, they will indeed publish the vulnerabilities. You can take a look in here and on the official website they say that the uh, vendors have 90 days to produce security patches to address the bugs be reported. Once these are made public, stay tuned to this blog for more details about some of the best and most interesting bugs we saw this week. So they will definitely make these bugs available, it's not a question of that. And although this is not a kernel exploit, it's a sandbox escape that is definitely welcome for the iOS 12.1, 12.0.1, 12.0 and possibly even 11.4.x 
if the uh, vulnerability is backwards compatible. As for the iOS 11.4 users, you still have the vulnerability from Ann Beer that he posted in this article in here called Dejax New. And although this is a very powerful vulnerability, it doesn't give you task for PAD0, which is that component we still miss. And once we get a way to get the task port for the kernel or task for PAD0, it will definitely be usable in a jailbreak and we might be able to update on Cover or Electra for iOS 11.4.1. But as I said, we still need to get the kernel task port before we do that. That is pretty much the missing component on both iOS 12 and iOS 11.4.1 for the moment. We do have quite a lot of bugs, we do have quite a lot of exploits and they're all very very useful that demonstrate that both iOS 12 and iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4 are vulnerable as hell, but we still need that important piece that would give us the kernel task port in order to be able to do the post exploitation part and update the existing tools to iOS 11.4.1 and possibly iOS 12. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Geos now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.